Okay, question three here. So I'm going to do question three. Okay, it's y equals half x squared. And we have to state the transformation. So there's a half in the front. You see that half. So instead, first I'll do the graph, and then I'll come back and talk about the transformation. So instead of doing 1, 3, and 5, we're going to take those values and we're going to multiply by a half. Where's a half? Another way is 0. 0.5. So when we multiply the first one, you get 0. 0.5. You multiply the second one, you get 1.5. You multiply the third one, you get 2.5. If you see the pattern, the next one will be 3.5. Like half of $1 is 50 cents, 0. 0.5. Half of three dollars is a dollar fifty, one point five. Half of five dollars is two fifty, and the next one would be seven would be three fifty. So 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5. Okay, now we're gonna go graph. So I'm gonna go on the next page here. I'm gonna graph it. So the all these graphs right now start at zero zero right here. Okay, you go over one square from zero zero, and then you go up by half. So you don't go to the full one, you only go up by half. So you go right here. Then you go over one square, always over one square, and you go one and a half. So you go a half and a one, you go right here. Then you go over one square and you go up by two and a half. You can go over one square and up by three and a half. Okay, now you do the same on the other side. Over one square, you only go up by half. Okay, where am I getting these values? Again, it's those. It's that 1, 3, 5, so it's a 1, 3, 5 times the 0. 0.5. Just want to make sure it's clear. So it's 0. 0.5, 1.5, 2. 2.5, and so on. So that's where I'm getting these values. So every time you go over 1, then 0. 0.5. Over 1, 1. 1.5, and you put a dot. Over 1, 2.5. Over 1, 3.5. And then you take your best curve, whoops. Take the best curve you can, go right through these, bring it back up, go right through these, and put arrows on the end. Now I'm going to have two graphs on here, so make sure you label your graphs. Hopefully I labeled those other ones before. I'm not sure now. I might have to go back. So here you got y equals half x squared. Let's just go back. I want to make sure I labeled those other ones. I did. See, I made sure I labeled them. So... I'm labeled this one. Now, what's happened to this graph? Well, it's got like compressed. It's got shrunken down. So let's let's take a look here. It's got compressed. Let's go over to the computer software. So let's, I'll graph it with y equals x squared. I'll show you what happened. I'll, I'll switch to the other one. I'll switch this one. So the, for the green one there is y equals x squared. And I'll put 0.5 here. Okay. So the blue one's the new one, the 0.5. So this green one's got like pushed down. It was pushed down and shrunk to the green one. So we call that a compression, a vertical compression. So let's go back and write that in here. Okay, right in here, we're going to write vertical compression. So in here, vertical compression, vertical. You know what? I'm going to type this because it's, it's a bit messy. So I'm going to type it in here. So vertical compression, vertical compression by 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 okay hope that's easier to read than my writing was before okay now let's go to the next one okay let's see here we'll go one we'll use a different color here so we'll go with the blue we'll go one we'll look at the number in the front it's negative two we'll go one three five we're going to multiply all these by negative 2. So we're going to get negative 2, negative 6, negative 10. Every single time we take these initial numbers and we multiply with the, by the number in front of the x squared. So you get negative 2, negative 6, and negative 10. Let's go graph it here. So the blue one will be negative 2, negative 6, negative 10. Hmm, negative. I wonder what we're going to do here. What are we going to do? So we're going to always start at 0, 0 for these graphs. We'll always go over 1. Are we going to go up to? No, because it's negative. We're going to go 1, 2 down. Then we're going to go over 1 and down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, we're going to do the same on the other side. Now we won't be able to fit that last one because 10 is way low. So we're going to go over 1, 2 down, over 1, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six. Then we're going to take and do our best curve. This is terrible. Let me undo that. Let's try this again. This is maybe I'll try with my pen here, or my touching touch screen pen. Let's try my best curve. Here we go. Through all this, put the arrows on the end. Label it y equals negative 2x squared. Okay, let's go to our graphing software. Let's see if we were right. So you guys can always use that graphing software. It's free. Okay, you can just type in that the link I'll give you. Let's type in y equals negative 2x. And, uh-oh, where's my square? Oh, there it goes, square. Just couldn't get it. Y equals 2x squared. Let's take a look at it now. It was the red one. There it is. H, H, H. There it is. Opens down. Okay, you go over one, one, two down. Over one, one, two, three, four, five, six down. Okay, there, there it is right there. Okay, so we did draw it right. Now, it is stretched. So there's actually two things that happen to this one. First, it opens down, but we're going to call that a reflection in the x-axis. So we're going to go back here. So this is drawn right. When it opens down, we call it a reflection in the x-axis. So here, we're just gonna, I'm just going to type it, reflection in the x-axis. Anytime it's negative in the front, it's a reflection in the x-axis. Now, there's also a vertical stretch. So when the number is not a decimal or a fraction, it's a vertical stretch. So we have a vertical stretch by 2. Okay, so I typed it here. You can write it in the lines. I thought my typing would look a little bit nicer. Okay, let's go to the next one. Number 4. Let's get that. The table. And I'll type in here so you guys can see me. Okay, I look at the 10. If it's not a decimal or a fraction, it's a vertical stretch. So vertical stretch by 10. Okay, now it's a decimal. Okay, but it's also a negative. So for the negative, I put, I put a reflection in the x-axis. And I have a second one, which is, and I'll put enter here, a vertical compression by 0.1. So here, this 0.1, since it's a decimal, tells me it's a compression. Again, the negative tells me there's, there's going to be two lines. One's going to be reflection in the x-axis. So anytime you see a negative, it's reflection. The, this one doesn't have a negative, no reflection. Now, if it's not a decimal or a fraction, it's a compression, vertical compression. Oh, no, it's a stretch, sorry. Vertical stretch by 20. So again, if this here is not a decimal or fraction, it's a stretch. If it's a decimal or fraction, compression. No decimal fraction, stretch. Okay. And then reflection in the x-axis. If it's negative, not negative, no reflection in the x-axis. Hopefully now you can use this information to complete the rest of the work. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I can create more videos or try to explain more.